So one day you wake up and you're feeling kind of sad. You're feeling a bit down. So you decide to make a song on how you're feeling to express yourself. So you go ahead and try. You try to make some real art, but every time you try it, it just sounds like straight doo-doo. And that's why today I'm going to be showing you how to make a shoegaze song. But if you do end up enjoying this video, uh, please do subscribe, it really helps me out. And also, uh, whilst you're there, maybe leave a like. Also, I have a Discord server, it'll be linked in the description, go ahead and join that. Without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, Shoegaze normally has a few key elements, such as heavy, sad, deep, meaningful guitars, trashy, loud drum kits, distorted bass guitars, and obviously, like, a lot of reverb. So, let's get started with the guitars. Now, obviously, the best way is to record a real electric guitar the best sound but not everybody is talented at guitar so i have the next best thing plugins i use a plugin called ample guitar vc but to be honest it's not very cheap so some good alternatives are spitfire labs cute emily guitar and suburban guitarist i'll leave a link in the description where you can download those plugins but also one shots can work too and i'll also have a link in the description to some good free kits of guitar one shots so i also added some effects just to really bring out the sound the effects that i used i used some eqs just to cut out things that I weren't really liking. I use this patch of plugin for um, distortion, but you can also use Fruity Frat Distort or Destructor or any other FL Studio plugins. Then I also added this other distortion plugin and I added some reverb also. So now that you have a good guitar sound, we need to actually make some chords. So you want to make your chords drone for a long time. That basically means just string out your notes for a very, very extended amount of time. You want to kind of make your chord progression sound dreamy and eerie. But if you're finding it like hard to actually get some good chord progressions, just look up on Google like dreamy chord progressions and just like use that as some inspiration and hopefully that will help you out. Also one more thing, when making these chord progressions, you want to vary the velocity a lot to make it sound more realistic and you want to basically do that with all the things on this you want to do the same with the drums you want to do the same with the bass just to make it sound realistic as possible because shoegaze is a very realistic sounding genre anyway this is how my first guitar sounds like So the next thing I added, as that was a very almost clean sounding guitar sound, which I could probably use as an intro or uh, for the verses. I now want something for the chorus to make it sound very heavy and very full. So I got another guitar from Ample Guitar VC and made it very distorted and very crunchy. As you can hear, it sounds like a very, sounds like a very like distorted guitar. But anyways, I also uh, just made the notes just like repeat like this, like strumming. So I imitated like actual strumming just to make it uh, like power through the whole thing. And once again, I also changed some of the velocity notes just to make it sound a little more realistic. But anyways, this is how the second guitar sounds. And for the third guitar, I copied the exact same MIDI. I just had a different crunchy guitar sound, which sounds like this. But yeah, this is how it sounds. Now for the fourth guitar, I added this lead sound just as a top melody for the chorus. This sound is a much more dreamy, but also distorted with a lot of reverb. And this just like kind of just glides over all the guitars. But this is how it sounds. Also, one more tip to make it sound more realistic. Instead of just doing the velocities, you can also off note the, some of the notes and just make them sound a bit off and extend things out just to make it sound a bit more like it wasn't played perfectly. This just makes it sound a lot more realistic and it makes it sound like it was actually like a guitar being played. And for the final fifth guitar, I added this drone guitar. This just plays two notes and goes for a long time and this just drones over the whole beat and makes it just sound even more dreamy and stuff. And a lot of shoegaze songs do this, so I just kind of copied it from them. And I also added this automation for the pitch just to make it feel like it was pitch bending down. But this is how it sounds. So yeah, that's the guitars, now let's move on to the bass. 
So for the bass, I use this free plugin called Moodoo Bass 2. And if you get it, it gives you one free bass um, guitar. And obviously, if you want to, you can pay for the other guitars if you want to. But the, the preset bass, the default one, is actually really good. And I very simply just followed the root notes of the chords I made. So it's very simple. It just played on every two bars. The main thing I did was add loads of distortion. As you can hear, this is how it sounded before I added any effect. But I wanted to make it feel a lot more crunchy and a lot more heavy, so I added a lot of distortion. So I added a free fat distortion and also added some EQs. And a stereo enhancer just to make it feel a little more wide. And now it sounds like this. So yeah, that's it for the guitars. Now let's move on to drums. So for the drums, I use this one drum kit, which is a paid drum kit, but it's honestly one of the best drum kits I've ever used for making realistic sounding drums. But once again, I'll also leave some free alternatives in the description if you want them, but I'll also link this kit. So for the drums, you want to actually keep it kind of simple. So it feels like quite a normal, just like drum beat. But the main thing you want to do with these drums is just drown it in reverb, basically. But let me go through uh, each sound individually. So firstly, I have this kick. Then I have this snare. Then I have this ride with um, with alternating velocities to make it sound realistic and also some notes off-putted to make it sound even more realistic. Then I added this hi-hat. Once again, some uh, notes off-put to make it sound realistic and some velocities changed. But this is how it sounds. Then I added this open hat. Layered with this crash. Then this other open hat. And finally this crash. And for the mixing for that, it's basically just a whole lot of um, reverb. But don't put reverb on the kick because that will just make it sound muddy. But otherwise, it's mainly just reverb and a bit of EQing just to make everything sound correct. But all, the, all together, the drums sound like this. And yeah, that's basically it. Once again, if you did enjoy this video, please do like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Also, join my Discord. It'll be linked in the description. By the way, if you want to hear the full song, it's on SoundCloud. It'll also be linked in the description. Without further ado, thanks for watching. Goodbye.